Yo, how's it going everybody? Double TG back with another GTA 5 video. So in today's video guys, we have a super dope cop belt glitch. This glitch will let you put the cop belt on any outfit that you want to wear. This glitch is really easy to do, especially if you've done it before because this has been out for a very long time. So with that out of the way, let's get straight on with the video. So to start off today's video, what you need to do is wear the outfit that you want to save because this glitch will delete all of your outfits, every single one of them. So you need to wear the one outfit that you want to save. After you do that, press pause, go to swap character, and you're going to load into the swap character room. And once you load in there, you're going to need to create a female character. This glitch will also require you to delete your female character, so if you do care about your female character, then you can't do this glitch. So once you spawn in here, go over to the second character and make sure it is a female character. It doesn't matter how you make it look because you're going to delete it anyways. Once you load in, you may have the same issue that I did. If you press pause and look around, you'll notice that there is no clothing stores available to edit your outfits and it won't let you access any. So to fix that, all you have to do is press pause and find a new session. One eternity later. After loading for a really long time and you finally spawn into a session, go to the nearest clothing store and go to t-shirts. Now once you're at the shirts, what you have to do is go to leather jackets and put on the orange padded leather jacket. After that, go to gun running shirts and you're going to put on number 60. It is the blue digital t-shirt. Now once you have that equipped, head over to pants. And once you make it to pants, go to sports pants and put on the very first one, spotted muscle pants. After you've done that, head over to shoes and you're going to go over to running shoes. And once you're at running shoes, put on the mono retro runners. After you put those on, go to accessories. So go down to gloves and put on the light woodland tactical. Go put on the white woodland tactical and save the outfit. Once this outfit has been saved, all you have to do now is press pause, go to online, head over to creator, and start up creator. Once you make it to creator, go to races and start up a land race. You're going to create a land race, and all you have to do now is make a land race and be able to test it. So put it on point to point, put down the checkpoints and put the checkpoints all the way up to 0.65 so you can test the race and once you do that all you need to do is test the race when you get to this alert right here accept it and as soon as you can press pause go to online and click choose character Once you load in here, go over to your female character and select delete del and delete the character. So type in delete and make sure that you have completely deleted the character. Now at this part, make sure you press circle to back out and exit the story mode. Do not choose another character because this won't work. You have to press circle to exit the story mode. So once I load in, I'm going to press circle to return to story mode and then I'm going to load straight into story mode. After you load into story mode, press pause, go to online, and I suggest you press go because this next part is going to be a lot easier if you load into an online lobby.
After you finally load into an online lobby, what you're going to want to do next is save the outfit that you were wearing so that you don't lose it. Now once you have the outfit saved, press pause, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, and then go to verses and start up crooked cop. Now when you start up Crooked Cop, you need to make sure the outfits are set to player owned. And this is why I told you to go to an online lobby instead of an invite only session. Because if you go to an online lobby, you will load into a lobby with other people. After you load in, simply switch to the outfit that you want to wear and then switch to the outfit with the cop belt. So make sure you're wearing the outfit that you want to wear beside the outfit with the cop belt like I did right here. As you can see, the belt merged over to the outfit that I was currently wearing. So once you do that, simply wait for the game to start. After the game starts, open your interaction menu, go to style, and go to bike helmet, and just swap right on the d-pad for about 10 to 15 seconds. Do the same for helmet visor, and do the same for the parachute. Just go to parachute and swap it around for 5 to 15 seconds, and once you're done doing that, open your phone and quit the job. After you spawn into a session, you now have the cop belt on the outfit that you were wanting to wear. That's pretty much it for the video guys. If you want to edit the outfit, I suggest you save it first so you don't accidentally screw anything up. If you do want to change the top, you need to make another outfit with the top that you want to wear and then merge it again just like you did in Crooked Cop. You don't have to do the glitch all over again, you just need to go to Crooked Cop wear the outfit that you're wanting to merge the belt onto and then switch over to the belt outfit but like i said that's pretty much it for the video guys be sure to like and subscribe for the best gt5 glitches i'm out peace